I've been on a journey to improve my desk setup. And on this journey, I've become somewhat obsessed with macro pads. These are miniature keyboard-like devices that you can program with time-saving shortcuts and commands. And over the past two years, I've tested dozens of these macro pads, and each of them have their own strengths and weaknesses. But my newest macro pad is very interesting because while it does have some features I've seen before, like nine programmable macro buttons and a spinning rotary encoder, this macro pad is much cheaper than most of the competition. In fact, you can buy this macro pad for 35 US dollars. But how does it compare with some of the more premium macro pads that I've tested? And does the low price come with some trade-offs? Let's get into it. So what exactly do we have here? Well, the full name of this product is the XP Pen AC19 Shortcut Remote, but from here on out, I'm just gonna call it the AC19. This device has flown under my radar because it's not advertised as a macro pad. The company behind this device, XP Pen, makes hardware for digital artists like drawing tablets. And so the AC19 is advertised as an accessory for drawing tablets and digital illustration. But it turns out you don't actually need to own a drawing tablet to use the AC19. It can pair with any PC or Mac, and once it's connected, you can program these buttons and the wheel to perform whatever keyboard macros or shortcuts you can think of. And so today, I've put together a few demos for the AC19 to showcase what you can do with a macro pad like this. But if you've never used a macro pad before, allow me to give you a brief introduction. Work From Hype proudly presents MacroPad 101. Are you tired of having to stretch your hand into ridiculous shapes in order to hit five keys at once? Introducing the Macro Pad. With a Macro Pad like the AC19, you can convert up to 20 keystrokes into a single button press. This allows you to create powerful keyboard shortcuts that you typically would be unable to do with your weak human hands. So starting saving time and your hands with the Macro Pad. So macro pads like this can save you time and mental energy. I've got three demos for the AC19 to show you, and the demos will start off simple and get more complex as we go. The first demo is pretty simple, basic window management. When I'm working on a video, I like to have all of my files open on my second monitor so I can search for whatever I need. But every time I do this, I have to manually open all of the folders and use my mouse to position them in just the right places. So I've created a simple macro that automates this process. Macro 1 opens Finder, navigates to my video production folder, and activates Search. This way, I can press one button and immediately start typing to find a file that I need. And this is great, but I actually want this window out of my way, and so I've set up a second macro that moves the window to my secondary monitor. I know it's simple, but this is a great starting point if you're new to macro pads or if you just like sitting down at your desk and getting to work. Stepping things up a bit is my second demo, where we'll use this macro pad to trigger an AI writing assistant. For this demo, I will be using Notion because that's the app where I do most of my writing, but this concept could be applied to any writing software with AI or advanced editing features. So I've opened up Notion and I'm working on a video script. The problem is I wrote way too much for this section and I need to make the text shorter. To do this, I'll use my macro pad. First, I hit macro one, which selects all of the text on screen. Then I press macro two, which triggers the AI and issues a command to review the highlighted section of text and then to shorten it by removing any redundant sentences and to use less words to say the same thing. And in a matter of seconds, we have an updated version of my script, which is now much shorter. Now, personally, I don't use AI to write my video scripts. It's just not my thing. This is much more like the grammar and spell check tool that we've all been using in Microsoft Word for decades. It just speeds up the editing process after I write my first draft. And the macro pad makes this even faster. Instead of having to type out these AI commands with my keyboard, I can press a single button and the AI takes care of the rest. My final and likely strangest demo of the video is about webcams, specifically how I've paired the AC19 with the Insta360 Link webcam, which turns this macro pad into a legit wireless camera controller. So the Link is a unique webcam because the camera actually sits on this motorized arm, which can point the camera anywhere you want it to go. I use this webcam to capture extra footage of me working in different locations around my office, and so I've programmed the macro pad to change the position of the webcam. 
Macro One points the camera at my YouTube table, where I film unboxings and other stuff. Macro Two zooms the camera all the way over to my audio workstation, where I do voiceovers and other sound-related things. But Macro Three is probably my favorite because when I press this button, the camera points directly down at my desk, giving me an instant top-down shot which is very useful if you make videos about your desk setup and often forget to film things and then you need a clip at the last minute. Also, I've programmed the wheel on the macro pad to control the zoom on the webcam. This allows me to zoom in and out and reframe my shot, which is very useful. And this entire camera control demo only works because this macro pad is wireless and so I can use it anywhere in my office. Which reminds me, we should talk about the hardware and the build quality of the AC19. As I said at the top of the video, this is a budget macro pad, and so the build quality of this device is, well, budget. I think design-wise, it looks pretty nice, but everything from the buttons to the wheel and the case is made of a lightweight plastic. For $39, I wasn't expecting much metal, but that does make this a pretty lightweight macro pad. Thankfully, this isn't an issue because the AC19 has super grippy rubber feet on the bottom that keeps it in place on your desk. This budget effect carries over to the battery. Instead of being a rechargeable lithium-ion battery, the AC19 uses disposable, AAA batteries. While this is not ideal, it hasn't been a problem for me because the macro pad turns itself off when it's not in use. And after a month of testing this device, the battery has shown no signs of running low. Also, the keys on this macro pad feel a bit squishy when you press them, as they are not mechanical switches, but they are responsive and work just fine. And the spinning wheel does click as you rotate it, which gives you some physical feedback, but there isn't much resistance and it doesn't feel premium. But as a rotary encoder, it works. And that's really the theme for the hardware of the AC19. It's not premium, but it works. And for the price, that's fine. But I think the best part of this macro pad isn't anything on the physical device, it's the software behind it. The software experience is a huge part of any macro pad. This is where you will spend a bunch of time programming your macros and the quality of the software can really make or break a device. I've tested dozens of macro pads and what I've found is the devices from larger companies like Razer or Elgato generally have great software, but that means their macro pads are much more expensive. In contrast, the more affordable macro pads from smaller companies usually use open source software, which can be hit or miss. So I'm happy to report that XP Pen, the brand behind this macro pad, has created some of the most user friendly macro pad software that I've tested. You can program each key with up to 20 different keystrokes, and you can program the wheel to simulate mouse or keyboard movements. But the best part is the automatic profile switching. When I open a program, like Notion for example, the software automatically switches the profile profile on the macro pad. Usually with cheaper macro pads, you have to change software profiles manually. So this is a huge advantage that the AC19 has on basically every budget macro pad that I've tested. And this software runs on both Windows and Mac. Okay, so we've seen some demos and we've covered the software, but what's the verdict? Should you get an AC19 and is it worth it? Well, I've tested so many of these macro pads that I decided it was time to create a scoring system to give you guys a better idea of which devices perform the best. In my opinion, there are three criteria to evaluate any macro pad. The hardware, the build quality, and the software experience. For hardware, the AC19 has nine programmable buttons and one rotary encoder along with wireless support, which makes for a solid combo of hardware features. So for hardware, the AC19 gets a three out of five. Moving over to build quality, the AC19 is very much a budget device. It's made entirely of plastic and uses a disposable AAA battery. The keys are not mechanical and the wheel is a bit too easy to rotate. This may sound harsh, but a macro pad lives on your desk and it's supposed to be something that you interact with every single day. So build quality really matters and the build quality on the AC19 does bring things down a bit, coming in at two out of five. Finally, there's the software experience where much of your time will be spent programming the macro pad. 
The software for the AC19 is a highlight. It's easy to use and reliable. And in my opinion, it's the software that sets the AC19 apart from other budget macro pads. And so it gets a four out of five. That brings the overall score for the AC19 to three out of five, but I do have to factor in the price. I think this device is so affordable that it makes for a great first macro pad for someone who is a beginner and wants to learn about programming shortcuts. So I'll give the AC19 an extra half point, bringing the final score to 3.5 out of 5. The AC19 may have been designed for artists with drawing tablets, but its simple software and budget price make it an easy recommendation to anyone who's interested in adding a new macro pad to their workflow. But before you go out and buy anything, make sure the software that you use every day supports custom keyboard shortcuts. None of the demos you saw today would have been possible if I didn't spend time creating custom keyboard shortcuts. As always, thank you for watching Work From Hype. My name is Nick Moe, and I will catch you all in the next one.